Hello guys! Today's video will be a tutorial about creating a fun book. So let's get started. Now we are going to use a website called Book Creator. So when you open your web browser, you can type in here bookcreator.com. So you will see the link, you will see the URL written in the description. So you can straight away click on the link. And when you go to the Book Creator website, this will be the home page. This is what you will see. It's completely free, guys, so you can just give it a try. Now, to use this website, Book Creator, you're going to have to need an email address. So using your email address, you can sign in. Click on sign in. Now, I have already signed in and you will be directed to this page, which is your library. So if you need to create a new book, do you see this plus B? The plus new book here at the right top, you click on that. And then you'll be directed to something like this, which will let you choose from uh, different shapes. So you can pick one, what your book shape is going to be. I am going to use port rate. So you just click on that and then you'll be directed to your cover page. So let's see now a cover page should be looking really nice. It should be really colorful and nice. So what you can do is to Add, you can you can add text, you can write, you can type, you can um, add pictures, you can do so many things here. So let's get started. So here do you see this uh, the plus icon here? So that's to add an icon, uh, add an item. So when you click on that, you will see a drop down menu. You can import files. You can um, you have the camera, so you can just turn on the camera and take a picture of yourself or take a picture of something. If you're going to write about your home, you can take pictures of your house. Here we have the pen. We'll be discussing each of one later. And then you have text. You can even record, right? So let's start. There is this, there. you can even add shapes here. So you can pick from a variety of shapes. So I'm on a free um, package. So if you, you can even get the paid version, which will allow you to have many more options, but let's, I'm on the free package. So you'll be good to go with this free package. So let's go back to media. So let's start with the first one now. When you click on this import, you can you can import images from Google. So you can type your search in the box. And uh, so let's try. Now I will be creating a book about our planet Earth today. It will not be a complete book. I will be doing the cover page and the first two pages for you to see. So because um, we're doing about the world, I'm going to search Earth. On this, you type it and then you click enter. So here we go. We have so many pictures that you can choose from. What I am going to pick is this. So you click on that and you come back here, click on select, and then it'll be automatically uploaded to your cover page. So it's as simple as that. So that's how you will import pictures from Google. Now, let me teach you how you also can import pictures. So let's take the way from your iPad or your um, computer. So we go back to this plus icon and then you go back to import. So this is to get pictures from Google. Here you see files. So when you click on files, you will be directed to the folders in your computer or your tablet. You can even import pictures from your Google Drive. So we are importing pictures from our computer. So we click on files and then you're taken to your computer's folder. You will not see that because um, it is my computer. Okay, so now here we go. I imported this. Now when you import this, you will see that it'll be automatically fixed here in this part. So what you can do is you can click on that and then you will see these four corners having the dots. You can click on any corner any dot to enlarge it or to resize it okay so i'm going to leave it like this next so to move it around you can click on the item and just move your cursor you can just touch it around to replace it so i'm going to replace it here all right okay so let's go back now, a cover page should be really colorful. 
it should look interesting, don't you think so? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we are going to make it look colorful. So we go back to the add item. Now, you know what a camera is, so when you turn it on, you can see yourself. When you flip the, when you flip the screen, you will see places around, so you can take pictures, and then it'll be directly dropped to your cover page. So let's go to the pen now. Now, this one has a lot of options. Now, when you click on that, you will have different brushes. You have the pen, you have brushes, you have the crayon, the highlighter, and this one. So, and then you have different brush sizes here. So, I am going to color this entire cover page using a fun thing. So, you will see. So, to do that, the best is to get this size of the brush and I'm going to pick on this. All right, now it's all in black. To change the color, here is the color picker. Do you see this black dot? So when you click on that, you will be directed to a beautiful color palette. Now I am going to pick this one. Now these are, these come in handy. So I'm gonna pick the rainbow glitter and I'm gonna color this entire page using the rainbow picker here we go so you see this it's really nice so your whole page will be like a rainbow there you go really nice okay so you can fill in this and we have our page now now we're good so let us now import our picture now do you remember click on the add item, we go to import, we go to files, then you pick on the image that you want to be entered into the page. So here we go. Now it looks way better, doesn't it guys? So I'm enlarging it by using this dot here and I'm clicking on it and moving it around. All right, so next we go back. Now we're gonna type in the title, the book title. So the book title is Our Planet. Now we have the text box. So when you click on the text box, you will get a box to write your title. So I'm going to write our planet. Let's write planet. Click done and poof, it appears here. So again, just like we moved on the, uh, the picture before, you can click on that and you can place the object wherever you want. Now, another interesting thing that you can do is since you can't see that really well and it's not legible, let's go back and let's go to the pen. This time, we are going to type in black. So here we go. You click on that. You click on the brush, brush size, pick on the color. I'm going to use black now. So here we write. You can use the touchpad and you can and write. So I'm going to write our planet. Why do we write planet? Do we write it here or here? Let's write it here. Our planet. Here we go. It's fun, isn't it? All right. So once we have written that, when you want to save the changes that you have made, you have to click on this done okay so now we have our beautiful planet so this is our cover page you can even write your name on this next let's go to our next page so since we picked the portrait we have our page two and page three here again now this time i am going to decorate my pages by using uh let's use this this one so you can keep on dots like that or you can even you can even draw a line a vertical line freehand like this okay so that is a way of decorating now let's import a picture done now I'm going to import a picture. This In this page, we're going to discuss about the continents of the earth. So here we have, here I imported it from, uh, well, 
files in the computer and I'm going to place it here. So a little bit bigger. Now let's type in. So you go to the add item, you click on the text and then let's write. There are seven continents. Full stop. Here we go. We have it here and we keep it here. If you want to add an emoji, here we go. Add item, you go to the pen and you have this emoji icon here. So you can pick on anything that you want. I am going to pick, I am going to pick a smiley face or this one here because I love the earth. Here we go. Next, let's add an audio, boys and girls. So you click on done here. Now we have our second page and we have written there are seven continents. So if you don't want to read, you can just record. So you go to, let's do it again. So you go to the plus, the add item, and you go all the way down to record. Okay. Then you have three, two, one, go. Our planet is Earth. There are seven continents in our planet. I love my planet and I will always care for the planet Earth. So when you're done, you click on that and then you will be asked if you want to keep it or do you want to re-record it. So let's, let, let's just keep it. So we're going to use recording and then you will see this speaker here. You can relocate it, replace it to wherever you want. So I'm going to keep it down here. And that's it about it. So you can create your page. Now you know how. And when you're done, your page will be automatically saved. So let's read the book. If you want to read the book when you're done, you click on this play, the triangle, the play read book. And then you will see your book here final book. So let's go back to the cover page. Here it is, our planet. And then here we go. So I think that it's a real fun way to learn and to spend your free time. So if you like the video, boys and girls, make sure you like the video, share it around and always subscribe to learn on the go. We have really fun videos coming up. You can always learn in a fun way using learn on the go. So please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.